testing one two three four what I want to talk about is the transmitter switch selection on my FT 101 EE here first of all what we want to do is to take a look at the switches this is the power switch that needs to be turned on and off that turns on the AC power as you can see the light bulbs are light or lit the next one to switch over is the heaters to the vacuum tubes this should only be turned on when you want to transmit because it saves the filament voltage inside the vacuum tubes okay so we're going to turn this it's on that you flip it up like that and that turns on the vacuum tubes or the filaments inside the vacuum tubes. okay on. this is on this is all on again so the filaments are right now heating up it takes approximately 60 seconds for the filaments to come up I would wait approximately two to three minutes for the filaments to come up okay here's another switch that deals with the transmit this is Vox voice operated transmit voice operated transmit push to talk transmit is in the center that's where it's at right now normally if you're transmitting with this this is where you would want to put the switch and then it says MOX manual transmit own or uh, manual own transmit you would do this to manually tra uh, tune, a, tune a radio uh, into the antenna next one is the EEE has a processor and this is on or off this is only with a transmit you can press that on up down the next two controls are noise blanker is off the uh, RF attenuation is down 10 dB that's off and then we have over here a off 100 Hertz K Hertz and 25 kHz. These are internal signals that are transmitted uh, internally input to the antenna to set the tuning dial uh, to calibrate the tuning dial up here okay, in, the, in the burner tuner here. Okay if you take a look at the mode switch we have upper sideband, uh, lower sideband, upper sideband, tune, continuous wave or CW and then AM if you're on 80 and 40 meters you use lower sideband if anything above 20 meters you use upper sideband and then in the tune mode when we're going to tune our transmitter to the antenna we take the function switch or the mode switch and put it in the tune position next uh, we have a meter indication up here this is automatic limiter control uh, IC for the transmit on the tubes and then the relative power output these are for crystal 2 channel crystal 1 external VFO uh, external transmit then we have an external receive and an internal VFO as you can see the LED down here is lit when we turn or switch the LED uh, goes off that means in a normal position that means that that switch that VFO should be on all right so this is pretty well this is a tuning dial Werner tuning dial that we have here to tune our stations in this is not digital but very very accurate when it comes to uh, tuning frequencies and so forth on our bands okay the next part will go over and talk about the other switches and controls on the other side of the transmitter